Today we're going to be talking about a few Funko Pops and even one Funko Soda that's been trending upward in value lately. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So first off, we got to start out this video by recognizing how amazing this shirt is. I got to give a huge shout out to my very good friend Josh. He actually sent over this shirt as a little birthday present for me. Uh, my birthday was last month and I absolutely love it. Look at this awesome retro alternative logo that the Iowa Wild decided to make and they are actually an AHL affiliate team for the NHL team, the Minnesota Wild. So first off, just big shout out to Josh. Thank you so much for this amazing shirt. I love it when anytime you see a crossover between hockey and Star Wars, absolutely love it. So. First pop that we're going to be talking about for today's video is the Foot Locker exclusive Disappearing Miles Morales. Now, despite the fact that Across the Spider-Verse came out on the beginning of the summer, this pop just started to go up in the last few months and it's currently trending for $175. Now, this is a very interesting one in the fact that this pop does have a partially translucent body, which of course is a nod to Miles Morales' power in the fact that he can actually disappear. But he is not the only Spider-Verse Funko Pop going upward in value as of right now. You? No, wait, me? You? 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 The original Spider-Gwen from the Into the Spider-Verse line, same thing with the Miles Morales Pop that we just looked at, she is actually going up in value as well. She's currently coming in at $50. And just like Miles, she only started going up over the last few weeks. I have a hunch it's due to the fact of the new Spider-Man game that everybody's been playing. I've heard a lot of buzz surrounding it. So I'm guessing because of that game now, a lot of people are trying to go grab some of these original Into the Spider-Verse Funko Pops to grab for their collections. The Across the Spider-Verse movie was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was a lot going on and I definitely need to watch it a few more times to fully understand everything that happened and all the Easter eggs that they threw in. There were so many different spider characters. It was a fantastic film and I'm really looking forward to the third installment of that trilogy. Next up we actually have an anime exclusive to talk about and this one happened to be an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive that was released way back in 2020. However this version of this pop is something that Funko has done a few times now with several different characters and we absolutely love it. We actually have this shared sticker version of Vegeta eating noodles in our collection but we got to talk about what's going on with the market value of this specific pop. So both versions, the con sticker and the shared sticker, are currently going up in value with the shared sticker coming in at $90, which is pretty crazy for any shared sticker exclusive these days that isn't limited, uh, you know, as in a numbered piece. The con sticker version, you guys are going to have to sit down for this. It's currently trending for $310, which is pretty crazy, and it's gone up a lot here in 2023. At the beginning of the year, it was trending for about... 140 to 150 bucks, but there's been some sales that have pushed this one to almost over $400. So I'll be curious to see what this one does as we continue to move into 2024. The next one up is actually a two pack and I gotta give a huge nod to my amazing wife who actually noticed that this specific pop was trending upward thanks to her checking her collection. And this one of course is the Rose and Jack two pack from the very famous movie Titanic. Now Titanic, arguably one of the, if not the most famous movie of all time. It's just iconic that, you know, it's a version of, you know, a fictitious version of a real life event that happened. And um, they actually have not made that many Titanic pops. This one was a two pack, of course, and a Target exclusive that came out in 2019. And this one's been fluctuating, you know, here and there, $10 up, $20 down, $30 up. But over the last few months, it has seen some significant jumps and it is trending for $100 according to Pop Price Guide, but it's actually selling for more on the aftermarket if you wanna get one in good condition. The only thing that I think that would have made this pop absolutely perfect is what if they you know, inserted a tiny little door somewhere inside this pop. Maybe that would hit too close to home, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful two pack and um, one that I could definitely see continue to go up over the next few years. And continuing to talk about two packs, we actually have a Disney two pack that 
has been going up in value, although Pop Price Guide has not accurately uh, captured the value specifically for the con sticker version. So let's focus in on what's going on with the shared sticker version based off the data that we have. So the Chippendale 2-pack was uh, a regular two pack that they made and then they also came out with a flocked version as a con exclusive for San Diego Comic Con 2017 and the flocked shared sticker version is currently trending for $105 and it's even been selling for a little bit more on the aftermarket now if you go to look up the price for the con sticker it's showing that it's valued at $65 however that is not the case if you want to find a con sticker version of this beautiful flock two pack you're gonna have to pay well over $150. There's just not that many of them on the market for whatever reason of that one with the specific con sticker. This is a beautiful two-pack. Chip and Dale are iconic Disney characters and I think Funko actually did a really good job of selecting this pop to then make flock to number one and then make it a con exclusive. This is a great template for more con exclusives that I hope we get to see in 2024. Up next we have a character that I feel like we don't necessarily ever talk about here on the channel and that of course is Scott Pilgrim and I actually have a Scott Pilgrim pop to talk about because this one has been trending upward in value and this specific version of Scott Pilgrim is him holding his classic guitar and wearing the specific plum tree shirt. I've heard a lot of good things about Scott Pilgrim vs. the world and that movie and everything so it's definitely something that I want to watch at some point in the near future. This specific pop came out in 2017. It was a Toys R Us exclusive which unfortunately we do not have Toys R Us exclusives anymore here in the United States. So seeing that sticker is now something that collectors are going to gravitate more towards and pay more for because Funko just doesn't have Toys R Us exclusives anymore. This one is currently trending for $100. It has reached $100 in value in the past towards the end of 2021. This specific Scott Pilgrim Pop was going up, but now it's going up again and it's actually been selling for around $140 to $150. So I think in the next few weeks, you'll see Pop Price Guide update with some of those sales because I cannot find one on the aftermarket for less than $100. 30 if you want to get one in good condition. So pretty interesting to see this very random Toys R Us exclusive go up in value. And the last Funko Pop that we're going to discuss for today's Pops on the Rise video, we still have another soda to talk about, which I'm pretty excited for. The last pop that we're going to be talking about here is the Metallic Animal from the very popular and very sought after Muppets line. Now the reason I wanted to discuss this one is because it is an older pop. It came out for San Diego Comic-Con 2013 and it was limited to 480 pieces. It's currently trending for $530 and there's even been a couple recent sales pushing the barrier to 600 and I don't doubt that we'll probably see this one rise above 600 in the next few years just because of the scarcity of this pop and the reason that I selected this pop as the last big one to talk about is because of its limited um, you know edition and the fact that it was exclusive to a con this is something that I really hope Funko brings back and um, gives us more of in the next few years. I would love to see more very limited, very exclusive, and very hard to get con pops dropped in the next few years, specifically for San Diego Comic-Con and New York Comic-Con. There's a regular version of Animal, of course. The metallic variant is, you know, the one that is the con exclusive, and it's the same exact mold as the regular pop, and that's something that Funko has done quite a bit, where they'll take the same mold of a pop, and they'll make it flocked, they'll make it metallic, they'll make it diamond, they'll make it glow in the dark, and I'm completely fine with that if you give it a very limited edition variant like they did with Animal. So pretty cool to see this one go up in value, although it's no surprise to see this one go up in value because it is a 10 going on 11 year old pop. I just wanted to bring this up because I really hope that Funko makes more limited edition exclusives just like this one. They did a ton of them from the years of 2010 to 2014, 2015. There was tons of very limited piece count pops. And uh, nowadays, of course, unfortunately, we only get one or two here or there for each con. So really hope that we see more in the near future. And the final item that we're going to be talking about today is actually a soda. And this is a big soda that I wanted to talk Talk about because I think there was a lot of people chasing it for a while and then it sort of died down in hype but now we have a lot of reasons to talk about 
And this specific soda is the Sonic the Hedgehog soda. Now, for those of you guys who don't know or haven't been in the Funko game long enough, Funko did actually release a Sonic the Hedgehog soda. It was limited to 12,500 pieces, I believe, and it had a beautiful 2,000 piece flock chase. Well, that flock chase has been going up in value over the last few weeks, and it's currently trending for $105. Now, there is a Tails soda on the way, which I'm very excited for. It's also going to have a flock chase and it's going to be a GameStop exclusive. It was supposed to drop this month, but I believe the pre-orders and everything have been pushed to next month. So really hope we finally get to see that in hand next month. But on top of that, we also have a brand new wave of really epic looking Sonic Pops that are coming. There's also a Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie on the way. So if you're a Sonic fan like we are, there's a lot to be excited for, and I fully expect this chase to continue to go up in value. So if this is one you need for your collection, I would not wait too much longer, and there's really not even that many of them on the market. So people who have this in their collection, they're not giving it up, and um, yeah, you're probably gonna have to pay well over $105 to get one in your collection if you're trying to get one. So that's gonna do it, guys. Let me know down in the comments section below if you own any of these pops or the Sonic Soda Chase in your collection, or if you've noticed any other items in your collection going up in value. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts down in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. We'd love to have you join our Slapshot Pops family. And with that being said, don't stop shooting until you score.